Billy Tucci, here I am, guys. Good to see you. Um, yeah, I was with the wires. Sometimes the, the jacks don't work for the USB. The ports seem to be very wonky, and I got to play with it, and that's a lot why it wasn't working. But I should be on now. Let me go to Facebook and see if I'm live, uh, and hopefully you guys will, will join me here. I apologize for that. Just put me in a real bad mood. So, yep, I'm live now. Okay, cool. So I'm live. Anyway, so uh, good to see you guys out there. I am doing – ah, hello, Victoria. Can you hear me, my dear? I hope you can. What's going on, Martyr? How you doing? Let me know if you guys can hear me, okay? Uh, this is very, very touchy. My USB ports in the computer don't seem to the, – the little jacks that you put it in seem to be a little loose, so it's tough. Uh, I had to really play with it and – I thought I had to go get a whole nother wire, but unfortunately, I didn't have to get a whole new wire. Let me lighten this up back here, my stuff. There you go. I don't know if that works, if that helps any better, but pretty good. So uh, it's good to see everybody. Uh, again, I apologize for this, uh, for the mess up. What a pain in the ass. Again, me and PCs just don't seem to work. Um, the last time, uh, the, she, the way of the warrior number one was actually lettered on whiz bang. On uh, on a Mac, on an Apple II or a Mac II computer, they had Whizbang font. My my buddy had it, and I was able to letter the whole book on that. And then it was all Macs. And then in 1994, probably June or May of 1994, was when the first time I could afford my own computer, and I bought a uh, uh, an Apple 6100, and uh, used that for a long time. And uh, and that's what we basically made she on, put she together with. So um, it's just my in-laws have had PCs, friends have had PCs, the kids have PCs, and it just seems to be 10 steps extra than a Mac. It just seems always you got to put in extra things. Uh, things don't work. They crash. The motherboard doesn't work. It's always a problem, it seems, with PCs, and that's why I love Macs. But I, I love the whole setup. It looks cool, the JPC. I just have to learn to be nicer to it, I guess. So, um, hey, Sam Booch, good to see you. John Buchan, good to see you, too. Uh, how do I say that? Chris, Chrysanthemum. Oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> good to see you, Chrysanthemum. Thank you, guys. So we're going to draw for my buddy today. I'm in a better mood. You should have saw me about two minutes ago. But I had let, yesterday, we drew this nice Wonder Woman. Oh, let me put on the, the, the screen. Hang on. Let me pop that on. There we go. So yesterday, we drew this, this Wonder Woman uh, for our friends at Comics World, uh, they're out in PA. If anyone could, they're in um, Chambersburg, PA. So if anybody would like to find the link for me, that would be great. If you guys could post that into the chat. It's a great store, John Miser's store. It's got a great team. Um, so there we go. So I drew this, this Wonder Woman for, for John. Where is she? There she is. So she's kind of, there you go. So I drew that. It's a nice cover. I'm going to draw the thing today because I love the thing. I never get to draw him. Um, I did get a chance to draw him during the battle books. I did the battle book cover, and I think that's the only time I ever had, the only opportunity I ever had to draw the thing, good old Ben Grimm. So I hope he's okay with it. I hope John's okay with it. Let me find him. I put him down somewhere. Get him over here. Here he is. All right. So here's the book. Um, I can switch the, ang the, the the angle. I can do that if that looks a little better. I have to have it to the right. I'm going to hit myself in the head with this. So uh, here's the thing. Let's pop this. Find a Kirby thing here. Where is a good old Kirby thing? There is thing. I prefer thing to the thing. But I do prefer the Batman to Batman. Isn't that strange of me? There you go. That's pretty cool. Uh, I love Kirby's thing. Arthur Adams did another great thing, though, of course. Um, and uh, here he is. Let's see the thing. Let's close that out. Find a thing drawing just so I can get some things right with him. <laughs> get some things right. <laughs> Jeez, I crack myself up sometimes. So, again, here I am on a PC trying to see an image, and I have to click it. Here you click it. That's 15 times trying to shut this stupid page. And, of course, there we go. Okay, so there's the thing. All right. Again, like I said, me and, and PCs just do not get along right. So I'm going to ink this guy because he's just a badass. He is getting a cigar in his mouth like Jack had it. So let's get let's give it a whirl. Let's see if I can find some markers here. 
ounces. Five. You start with a five and finish the five. Does the thing have ears? That's always a, a thing that everybody, it's a question I've always wanted to know. Let's see. So we'll go uh, nice and again. This is to benefit um, Comics World. My my friend John Miz's store. What's that? My son Matthew. Matthew, when are you gonna second? Come here. My kids are going stir crazy, as is the entire country. I gather, right? Um. So let's do. Let's do some more a little pencil here. Make sure we get it right. Do the thing here. This can be nice and black, right? With the old Kirby dark shading. You hear? If you guys can see that, I'm going to zoom in. I know they, they, they let's see if I can switch these up. Yeah, see, I'm big. Oh, well, I think this might be the best way to, for us to draw because you guys will see it the best this way. I know. I'm, how's the cat doing? <laughs> Cat's doing good, buddy. I'm sure uh, she'll come up when she's hungry. So let's. Uh, Why am I blowing up? Oh, we've got some big news coming up with Crowdfunding Comics, our YouTube channel. You guys have got to check that out. Huge news. Huge. But I'll wait to see if Niall can join us. Big news. Big news. So it's hard to read that. Uh, lettering is a little. And a new logo coming out. Okay, let's draw the thing. Again, someone I never get a chance to draw on a character I just love. Um, one of my favorite stories of in comics history is, of course, this man, this monster. And it's like what Jack Kirby and Stan Lee did. And I think it was June of 1966, you know, 54 years ago, uh, which I guess if it was 54 years ago, they probably had been drawn already because it probably would have came out in May. So I'm sure he drew it is more successful than what most of these big event books that have been coming out from, you know, from the big two uh, in the past decade that they captured in one 22 page story, a 24 page story. Just a beautiful, beautiful story. Sad really shows the, you know, the pain that the thing goes through and all. And, you know, I know he's just a, the old lovable thing. So, but uh, sad. Imagine that you, you know, having turning into you know a rock monster, if you will, a thing. Hey, Matthew. Matthew, come here. Matthew. Matthew. Sorry. Matthew. Come here. So we're giving him a cigar. I don't care if you. Sissies don't like the cigar. Ben Grimm ain't, Grimm ain't no sissy, and he's going to be smoking his cigars. And just think of that. An entire generation of kids grew up reading the Fantastic Four, and they didn't turn into a bunch of cigar smokers, did they? They should have smoked cigars. That's what they should have smoked as opposed to cigarettes. Most comic fans don't smoke cigarettes. The people that didn't read comics smoke the cigarettes, right? All the reefer addicts and stuff like that. People addicted re reefer, smoking them reefer cigarettes. 
turning them into freaks. All right, so I got my neighbor, Brendan. I hope Brendan's out there watching. I should text him and see if Brendan's watching. I'm going to talk to my pal, Brendan. Uh, let's text the, my our block. Tina, I am live and want to draw with Brendan. Hello, what do you want? Uh, I'm doing this. Um, Hello, Father. What do you want? I'm doing this. Um, this Fantastic Four, the thing yeah. drawing, yeah. and I came up with a cool Fantastic Four story. How we are invaded by Planet X. Oh my God! Don't. My son Matthew, for some reason, does oh my not God! believe. You don't in You're not yell smart, so much, man. dude. I did get. Then he started yeah. asking chemistry questions, and I got them all. So Oliver, how am I not yeah. smart? Oliver said your sea monkey side. Yes, that's. He also said there is no planet X. There is a planet X, and there Oliver no did not planet say X. that. So my son does not believe there's a planet oh God, X. There is no planet X. I will show you scientific proof that there's... there isn't a planet X. How can there be scientific proof if, if you don't see it? No, but I have. Thank you, thank you. Planet X is the planet that revolves the opposite of the Earth. So when we get invaded, it will come from planet Earth, from planet X. And planet X. Is where you know what we perceive as the Martians will really come from. So let me see if, if uh, Tina gets back to me and if Brendan's around and we'll draw the thing with Brendan. I think Brendan's six, right? Brendan just turned six. I think he's six years old and he's my cross the street neighbor and he's an awesome kid. So we got to draw these cool little rock things and I guess it, it changes, right? I guess anyone can have their, their little, um, their own uh, interpretation of how the rocks fall because I'm looking at it and I see a lot of different versions of it. So let's, uh, let's let's draw the thing. Now, guys, I'm doing this to benefit one of our uh, one of my retailer buddies who has an incredible store that has always supported us. Uh, again, without the retailers, I wouldn't be here, and you guys wouldn't want to be talking to me. So um, I just want to show my if I can, and if you guys could, they'll probably be doing an auction on on the uh either on their website or something like that to, to benefit the store and it's just it's something really near and dear to my heart and uh again i got a lot of buddies who are retailers a lot of them are hurting because of the stores are shut down and let's face it it's tough in retail um today it really is if they're not allowing you to have your stores open you know that's that, that's terrible that's you know, that's it could be a, and it's a death knell for a lot of stores. They're actually going out of business, which just which just sucks, because how can you, you know, have a store without months and, and not having anybody come in and, uh, you know, with your customers and all. And there's also the chance two of them maybe even losing customers to online sales and then someone just deciding, oh, OK, well, I'll stick with my new on online guy. And there's nothing wrong with an online guy, you know, online sales. But let's try to help our retailers. So. Here's the thing. It's clobbering time. You know what? I'm going to see if my pal J.C. Vaughn wants to come in. Because, uh, what did you say, Peter? If I lived down the road, I'd come over. <laughs> Didn't the Hulk land on Planet X? Is that where the Hulk landed? Oh, my gosh, Renee. Planet X are our enemies. And my son, Matthew, freaked out and 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 was saying there is no planet x and we're like how is there no planet x planet x is where the invasion will come from and it's the people that don't believe that there's a planet x are the ones that will be the first to go when the invasion does come so i'm going to stream that i'm going to copy this and invite my pal jc vaughn who can do a great um uh hang on uh, billy uh, no no jc vaughn who who uh, can can do a great it's clobbering time in Dutch. Come on to my show now. Let's see if the old bean will come on. And I think Niall Scala, my partner, is coming on. We have a great show tonight on crowdfunding comics at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. we got some great shows next week. we got a show Thursday. We have a show tomorrow, which will be with the Cubert School with Anthony Marks. 
Oh, wait. Am I supposed to go on Anthony's show today? I think I'm going on Anthony's shows today. Anthony uh, Marks, uh, he is the proprietor of the Qbert School. So I think I'm going on with him tonight before our own show. Maybe 8, 8.30. I'll be going on with Anthony. And Anthony is not only is he a great writer, a great artist, a great editor. Um, he's uh, he's uh, a retailer, so he owns his own comic shop and he owns his own school. His own he owns the the Cubert School. He bought it to carry on the, to keep the to keep the legacy of the Cuberts of Joe Cubert, you know my comic book hero, and of course uh, you know father to uh, Andy and Adam Cubert. Let's see if he'll come on. All right. Show. What's that saying? Peter Zambuch. I donated about 70 blank. Oh, cool. Thank you, Peter. Peter Zambuch is one of the good guys. He really is. Thank you, Peter. That was great helping out. I mean, you know, we got to help these guys out. And this set, what sucks is that, is it this Saturday? Yes, this Saturday was supposed to be free comic book day. And, of course, obviously it's canceled because of all the retailer stores are canceled. But um, that just stinks. But we would have had uh, that. I would have been at um, Fourth World. I think I would have popped in at my, my buddy Allen's store, which is um, the Comic Book Depot on Long Island, Wontaw, Long Island. But, alas, it's not meant to be. But we will do it. We'll have another one. We'll have an ad hoc one or, you know, you know, international comic book retailer day or something like that. Let me find a little marker. What are we looking for? Zero 03 is better than that, but I need a zero, zero 005. This is my little, little tiny one for the cracks. Hello, Una. Dog is here. Okay. 005, we need a brush. Brush. Another brush. We're going to add some brush to this. The thing is cool, though, because the thing works really well with, with a marker. You get that chiseled rock. Well, let's get this here. Okay. Yeah, so this will be... Again, I have not drawn the thing since, in all honesty, that I can remember. I've not drawn him since the Battle Books, and that was almost 20 years ago. Battle Books first came out in 1998, so I'm thinking for the 20th anniversary in two years, um, maybe we'll, uh, we'll have a... Uh... Well, no, it's 20 years now, so we'd have to do it for another... Let's see, what can we do? This is 25. Oh, for the 25th anniversary, we could do it. For the 25th anniversary, boy, am I aging myself. For the 25th anniversary, we could do the, you know, Battle Book, um, you know, anniversary editions. I think that'd be really fun. And it was a game really before its time where you actually, it was a comic book and you're actually inside the comic book and you are the character. So the Hulk would fight the thing and she was in it and Witchblade and Vampirella, um, Spider Girl. Um, Spider-Man, obviously, uh, who else? Captain America. We, we had a license with Marvel and put together these great, great thing, great, uh, books. And I'd love to do 25th anniversary editions. And I just feel that it was ahead of its time. Um, cause no one was really new, you know, games were really not that big back then, you know, almost 25 years ago. So two years from now we'll be, well, let's see, what's this, this is 95. In three years, we'll have our 25th anniversary, and I'll tell you, we're going to do a big Indiegogo, and we'll do a cool, um, uh, which we call, we'll do a cool anniversary edition, which would be, I think, would be a lot of fun. I hope you guys can see it. Actually, I screwed this because this lip up. His eye, this eye would have been more closed. Oh, well. Well, it's the thing, right? It's comic, so.
The cool thing is that we got Peter Zambucci, our pal, Pete. Peter will be in She Return of the Warriors and his boss. <laughs> And thank you for that, for supporting us with that and getting that level, Pete. And you will return in Shi Hotaru. I don't know if you guys saw my Facebook page, post, my tweet. Um, I got to cook for the first time. Now, you know, I've been, Debbie and I have been together since 1987, I guess you could say. And um, and we had some, I don't know, we had some history. <laughs> well, it was all because of me because I'm a, a child. Um, but she's always spoiled me and she's always cooked for me. And this was the first time ever that we cooked together this weekend with this quarantine and it was fun, man. It was so much fun. We made, uh, well, the first night, first time we cooked, we, it's all seafood we did. So now we're going to look for something else and hopefully we can cook some, uh, I don't know, some pork maybe or something like that, a steak. Um, cause I, I just don't cook. <laughs> um, people are like, why don't you cook? I'm like, well, I never really had to even bur bur even barbecuing and stuff. No, I can, you know, when I lived by myself, I did. I, I cooked, kind of, um, <laughs> and I think I could be a good cook if I put my mind to it, but like everything else, but, uh, she, you know, she's, she just, she loves a cook, so, and she's a great, great cook, she, I mean, she really is, I'm phenomenal, and uh, so maybe we'll cook some, I don't know, maybe some pork this weekend, or some ham, not sure, not ham, uh, sorry, pork or steak. And uh, and then we're gonna start our start my my thirty days of healthy living. I'm gonna get healthy. I did last time I did it was last year I think. Yeah, I did it last year, and I lost I think twenty five pounds. So I think it's about time I hit that again, do it again. And I felt so great um, doing it, and it's with her with her business. I really felt um I really felt like a whole new animal after doing it. You know, it's like a detox thing and you just eat healthy and you know, no drinking and uh stuff like that. And uh, I felt great. So I so she's like, "Oh, maybe we'll go to hell in a handbasket this weekend because <laughs> we're going to we're going to start eating healthy next week." So boiling water. I can boil water. Yeah, the little necks with bacon. That's right. You saw it, Amanda. That's right. Yeah, that was great. So we had the little necks with bacon. Um, I shucked them. Uh, and then we had the oysters, Rockefeller. See, I'm good at shucking. I can shuck pretty quick. Um, actually, the, the little necks, no, we didn't have to shuck the clams. They did it themselves. Uh, in both both meals. I shucked the oysters, which are really easy to shuck, too. We'll have the thing say something. We'll have him say it's clobbering time. Let's see. That's, let's see. Eight, four. Let me text the old bean. Oh, they're not home. Oh, oh, well, I miss my buddy Brendan. Brendan is at a birthday party. Wait, wait. Going to a friend's house for a birthday parade. See, we're all practicing social just social distancing. Let's not practice social justice. Let's practice social distancing. So yesterday I was on for two hours. It's kind of cool. Now you got to look at it. It's really like that. Okay. So it the because the angle is wrong. And if I do the angle like that, I gotta I gotta draw way higher up here. And it just doesn't, it's just harder for me to draw. I like to draw it back down here. So um, I apologize. And let's see if I pull this out. But I know I'm going to hit, it's going to hit me in the head. Yeah. So this basically would be that. 
Let's move this here. Hopefully, I won't hit myself in the face. Again, he's off. He would be more like that, but I got to draw up then. So I apologize, guys, for that, but that's just the way it's got to be. There he goes. That's kind of working for our thing here. Where are my computer glasses? I'm put my art glasses on. It's my computer glasses, which are darker, and they're only like one power, and these are a little better. Yeah, it makes it a lot clearer. What a great design, huh? What a great, great design. And Kirby, man. And Stan, just, just gold. Bro, this oh, thank you, my friend. It's a thing I don't get the chance to draw him, so it's always fun to draw the thing. He's a character I never ever get a chance to draw ever. I'm sorry, guys. Blow it up. Oh, Lord. Hang on. Hoo-ha. Call old bean. Call old bean. Calling old bean. Mobile. Hey. Hello, old bean. You're live. I, I, I know. You said uh, you sent me a message. Oh, there you are. Jiminy Crickets. I apologize. <laughs> Goodbye. He's right there. <laughs> Hello, Queen. Hello. How are you? <laughs> you know, I'm pretty terrific, actually. I had a, 
a little problem earlier with the with the computer. I'm gonna see if I can switch this up and see how this works. Nope, we don't want that one. That's a little better. Let's do me. that. Well, it was fine as it was before. Anyhow, so I'm I'm working, so I don't have long to hang out. Yeah, but, but uh, I, just, I just said you had. But I wanted I wanted to I wanted to say I'm enjoying the thing. Who do you think drew the best thing in addition to Kirby himself? I love um, Arthur Adams the thing. Oh, that's nice. I think I I really love like him. when like like when uh, when Walter was writing Fantastic yes. Four. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And you know, but Carlos Pacheco did a great thing. Sure. Um, but I I, I, love, I would say I would say early John Byrne. I uh, unlike. Unlike a lot of folks, I see a difference between Burn at the end of his run and Burn at the beginning of his run, um, and I I'll largely ascribe that to backgrounds and things like that. But in turn, you know, his storytelling was still absolutely, you know, dandy. Yeah. But the but the character that the character details and particularly the background details, um, not so much because the the John Bernard I fell in love with uh, like Doomsday Squad. Yeah, uh, stuff where it's just like the, the, all the technology in the background, uh, early X Men, and of course that you know a lot of that's Terry Austin, and we should give credit where it's due. Yeah, uh, but uh, just just phenomenal stuff. His I, I his er, the, the thing the thing early in his run is just so so just freaking cool. And you, see, like, you know, what? Perez. Yeah, yeah. Perez you know? thing was very uh, whimsical, very human. And, and well, it, it the, 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 the it gave the the facial expressions a much bigger chance to emote, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I, I think George did that really well. And there's a lot of other guys who have who have done it uh, for lesser uh, times, but that doesn't make their contributions any lesser. Um, right. Uh, that that I think that it is. There's a, a great uh, Barry Windsor Smith story that ran in Marvel fanfare, and it was the torch and the torch and the thing playing pranks on each other. Oh really? Yeah, including the the thing waking up with a with a, a beard stubble that was like straws glued to his face. <laughs> yeah, it was really great. <laughs> so 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 tell me about uh, the uh, the cause behind why you're you're drawing this. Well, uh, uh, our my great friend out in Chambersburg, PA, which is southern PA near the Maryland border, not far from Gettysburg. Indeed. Um, you know, he's always been. John Miser has been an amazing supporter of ours, always, mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. a great supporter of ours. And, um, you know, with this whole thing that, you know, unfortunately his shop is closed and it kind of stinks that this Saturday would have been free comic free book. Free comic book day. I'm absolutely, I'm it's absolutely. It's huge. And, you know, I don't know if any of my friends out there who aren't comic fans um, for, for the next free comic book day, you guys got to go. Cause it's really a great celebration of all things comics. Whenever, whenever the industry comes back as a whole whether it is in september or later or earlier or whatever uh i think one of the things that we're going to have to do is have i mean this is my opinion nobody's talked to me about it but i think we've got to have more than one free comic book day and they won't all be called that yeah. but you know the the retailers that were participating already have the books or diamond has them or something and so they'll get them and we need to we need to you know get everybody out to comic shops and see them and you know probably, you know some of the places will still be on social distancing other places will be more relaxed yeah but but it's not an excuse for us to behave stupidly uh in terms of cram packing a place full of people who <laughs> might be sick but uh, but in terms of really getting out and marshalling our forces to support the comic shops we love uh Man, I think it's a really it's it. We're going to have a number of opportunities, and I think the uh, successful comic shops are going to be the ones coming up with stuff on their own. Also, uh, whether it was uh, I saw, I saw an ad that Steve Jeppy ran years ago where he was giving away free, he was doing free comic book day, and I mean it was when he was a retailer. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, and he didn't call it free comic book day, but that's what they were doing. And uh, I think we're going to have to come up with lots of creative things like that. Now, there's a lot of great stores. Uh, you and I visit many of the same ones that have uh, uh, signings yeah. and special events. And, you know, the stores that have hosted gaming have been also really hard hit. Yeah. Even, even in places where they are allowed to be open for curbside pickup, they had a lot of their business devoted to, to gaming and people coming in and staying in the store for a while. Yeah, and so there's all sorts of challenges with this, but I think we'll I think we'll rise to it, and uh, and you know efforts like what you're doing here, and 
Rob Liefeld and other people doing doing sketches and raising you know bunches of money. Uh, your partner on Zombie Sama, John Brolia, yeah. uh, did it to help out our friend Alan Paparin at uh, Comic Book Depot. And yeah, it's just people helping out people, man. And 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 you wouldn't you wouldn't turn your back on your neighbor. And you really just need to expand your definition of what a neighbor is. You know? Yep. yep. You know, I also hope, and I know this may be, and you and I are optimists, but I wonder if this will forge a greater appreciation for mom and pop stores all across the 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 world, say. There certainly is a, you know, like, cer yes, yeah, I agree. There certainly is a concerted effort uh, on the part of many who have been already working that direction for years to really get this message across during this time. And I think one of the things we've seen is, um, kind people uh, donating food to frontline providers like the doctors and nurses at various hospitals and stuff like that. And they're calling re local restaurants to place the yeah. orders. Yeah. And, and this is nothing to take, this is not to take anything away from big business. We were watching um, a, a segment on 60 Minutes and it talked about Ford and GM and making the respirators and, and things like that. Uh, and in all honesty, uh, though small business is much more nimble big business was able to bring th forces to bear that small companies could not yeah absolutely and, 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 and so it really is one of those things that we're all in this together and everybody's got a, everybody's got a part to play yep they do and and i and i'm looking forward to playing a part you know when i can actually visit the stores i mean this yeah. is a small part what we can do and hopefully we can help and some people will buy these covers to support John's store. Um, and, you know, I'll call Alan, see how he's doing, or message Alan. Because, you know, I love that shop, too. Yep. You know, well, we've had, we've, had a, we've had a lot of fun shop signing. And, you know, we've these are our friends. You know, these, and, they are. And, and I really am really am interested in uh, how this plays out uh, over the coming months, not just right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Because it's all great for us to talk like when we're sitting here and you're working on this beautiful cover and doing all that kind of stuff like that, but it really, what's our follow-up? Uh, and, and that's, that's, and that's, and again, that's on everybody there. And it's not that, and you know, the retailers, they can't wait to get in there and do stuff. I know where your, your friend's store, Pennsylvania, it, it is by, you know, probably necessity, one of the most restrictive States they're going to open up in stages and smartly they're going to open up with the, the counties with the smaller populations first. Yeah. Well, but once you get down near the Pennsylvania border, south of York, you know, the population is pretty medium, you know, so he might be, he might be right in the middle of the pack there. Um, you know, he'll be, he'll be ahead of Philadelphia and Pittsburgh, but be behind some of the other places. Yeah. The more real rural places. And yeah. And, uh, but you know, some of the stuff's necessary. Some of the stuff's overreaction. Some of the stuff's underreaction. And, you know, we're not going to know. We're not going to know for years. We're not. Uh, uh, some of this stuff. And anybody who's out there piping off that they know exactly what's going on is, you know, well. We're probably Liar. Here. Nah, you know what? I don't want to attribute bad motivations to people. They're just wrong. Yeah, they're just wrong. Exactly. So uh, at any rate, well, I'm going to get back to work. But I wanted to tell you, I thought this was looking really cool. And I was. Oh, thank you. It's fun. I, you know, I and I, and I, was, I was glad in this day and age. Uh, and you know, I'm a very, you know, very well, I'm a vehement non smoker. The thing is supposed to have a cigar. He's got it. Know? I'm sorry. He's got to have a cigar. He absolutely. Yeah. Supposed to. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, and, and, uh, did you ever read the what if where what if the Marvel bullpen became the, the thing? No. And Kirby, Kirby was the thing, of course. Right. And it's right, so right. hard to picture Kirby without a cigar, you know? I, yep. Yep. You know, I mean, I realize that's an idealized, stereotyped image, but that to me, that was yeah, how I thought. Thing and, and Wolverine don't have cigars anymore. Yeah. You're like, did that, you know, what's, I don't know. Yeah, that, it, it, to me, well. Not my company. <laughs> a different, different conversation for a different day. And, and a good conversation or something we should look into. Yeah, well, I, it's, it's very public why that happened. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll pass on that for now. We'll pass on that for now. Uh, not for this show. Indeed. Well, right, I, you know, I just, when is this going to, when is this going to be offered? How is it going to be well, offered? I'm going to send them out. I'm going to do one more tomorrow 
and mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'll express them to him. So I guess we're gonna buy Saturday. So hopefully on Saturday. So he'll so are they eBay, gonna be eBay auctions or what are they gonna be? I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Well, I think that I, whenever I think he whenever he that. decides how they're gonna be offered, uh, we should uh, uh, you should post it uh, in the uh, uh, on your your page stuff like that because I know a lot of people are gonna want these things. Absolutely. And how can you go wrong with the thing? How fun is that to draw the thing? Look at that. You know, I could almost draw the thing. That's how bad it is. <laughs> All right, old bean, I will give you a call because I'm going to be sending you a press release for Scoop. Well, I'm we sure Amanda will be Friday. delighted to receive it. And it's not. You're going to send it to me. You're going to send it to him tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to write it tomorrow. Yes, and I will send it to you tomorrow. Excellent. All right, old bean. Carry All on. All right, old bean. I'll talk to you later. Say goodbye, Bye. everyone. Bye, everybody. All right, tell you how, old bean. That was the old bean, folks. J.C. Vaughn. So there you go. Crowdfunding comics. What? We're doing pretty good, crowdfunding comics. How are you? This is a depression. Let's see that. Ashcan Comics are the way to go for poor artists, LOL. <laughs> That's very good, actually. That's very good. Eric Hawkins, my bro. Lady Death has an action figure going for pre-order in May. Can we expect an, a she action figure? Yes, I have been talking to um, Executive Replicas, who did our last action figure. Um, we've also been talking to Dynamite. We had a good meeting today about a plush toy, which could be a lot of fun. Um, again, no promises. These are all in the, in the, in the stages, but there's going to be a lot of stuff this year, and you guys are going to be sick of she by next year. No, of course you won't. We won't be, you know... It won't be like that, but uh, that yes, um, I would executive replicas and I just signed a new agreement, so we will be doing another she action figure plus a couple of other cool ones with them. And um, I'm looking forward to showing it to you guys, uh, to debuting it. We're working on a new costume for Anna, actually, something that she's a, that's a little more, I would say, age appropriate, but something she could wear out and do a quick change to turn to 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 um to you know, to, to turn into her anti-hero character. And it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. Uh, like I said, you know, I, for those of you who don't know, I created she in about 1990 when I was in college, uh, the character and her name was Katana at the time. Um, and, uh, you know, cause I really didn't know, I was learning about Japanese art, uh, learning about Japanese woodblock prints and Japanese art in college in, uh, in class, and I just fell in love with the Japanese woodblock prints. I mean, I really did. I was like, "This is incredible!" So uh, it really inspired me, and that's what that's where I went, and that's how I started. And, and the whole thing, I'm like, "What a cool comic book this would be!" And I was also heavily influenced by Wat, Nat, Matt Wagner and the Panda Brothers, uh, Christina Spar, uh, Grenda Grendel series, and um, I was on my way. To, to, to wanted to work for Marvel in DC. That was a dream because that was the brass ring. And then I went to the San Diego Comic-Con in 1993, which sadly is is canceled this year, but that's all right. Give us more time with the family. Debbie, Debbie and I, summer. It is William's last summer before he goes off to college and probably becomes too cool for us. Um, it'll be, so we'll actually, our summer will start in June as opposed to August because our summer... San Diego is so big and so much preparation goes into it that uh, it literally consumes the whole summer. And uh, it'll help us get Shi Hotaro out quicker, a lot quicker, which is the follow-up to, to Shi um, uh, Return of the Warrior. And that'll help us move on to doing uh, the follow-up book for our fall launch for Shi. And then if we can get that bad boy done in quick because of these can- conventions will be canceled, we'll be able to launch another one, another uh, campaign in in uh, November. And that book will be the uh, Senriaco 25th anniversary art writer and artist edition. So yes, the plush, don't, don't laugh. Uh, we do have a plush. That's what we're going to use. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get Victoria the plush going. And it can be a lot of fun. Uh, for some reason, my Facebook... Things are not showing up, and I apologize. I've been going to his shop. Whose shop is that, Peter? I'm looking at my Facebook thing. Let me check it out. It, um, I'll get back to you, Peter. I got to see. 
close that tab. There we go. Oh, Steph is there. John. Hello, John. John, would you like to come on? John's doing a auction on Friday. John, I, I'm going to send you the link. Let me see if I can send John the link. And let's see if we can get John on, on the show. Message. John, if you are here, I'm going to message you right now. And hopefully the link is right here. Let's see. Paste. Let's see if that's the link. Nope, that's not it. That's my Indiegogo. Let me grab this link right here and send it to John. This should be it. John, I'm going to invite you into our link. That should be the link. Join me, John, if you can, through StreamYard. It's really simple. But, yes, a plush. I think a plush would be cute uh, and, and be like a little she. So there's my thing coming along. I, I wish I could make myself really small and the thing really big. But... And uh, Kingdom Comics, hopefully conventions come back and just reopen this year. Yeah, they will. I think the fall conventions will all be, um, will go on as schedule. As I heard, Dragon Con is definitely putting on Dragon Con. I was invited to Dragon Con this year. I haven't heard from them. But, um, you know, to support the conventions, I'll go. You know, I'll do them. Why not? But uh, I'm kind of glad that a lot of the shows, it's, it's, it's weird. It's bittersweet. Because I will be able to get so much more work done by not going to the conventions. Though I love going to the conventions because it really inspires me. Um, uh, you know, the, a convention really inspires me. Because uh, I get to meet everybody. Because we do live really isolated, solitary lives for the most part. Uh, us comic creators. And, uh, you know, because you got to work. And, and when you get out is when you're actually out and you're able to see everybody and other fans. And because... Let's face it, we all got into this because we love, you know, we love the medium. We're all comic fans. Okay. So there's that. Facebook. Let's see if John can join. John is coming in. Hello, John. John, can you hear me? Your, your mic may be muted. I'm trying to get the volume here. Oh, so. How are you, brother? John, you just had your mic working. You just had your volume going. Give him a second. Give him a second. He'll, figure He'll figure it out. All right. Can you hear me now? I can. John, do you have headphones? Uh, no, I don't actually. All right. Well, we, you might just have to lower the volume a little bit because sometimes we get a little reverb and echo. All right. I'm adjusting the microphone mixer here. Is that a little bit better? Yep. Much better. So what do you think okay. of the thing? He's going to be the thing in there. Oh, I the, love the thing. It's awesome, man. So I, I love the thing. And then tomorrow, let's go through the books. And we'll figure out who I can do. Here's your Wonder Woman. She's more like that. Yeah, I saw that one when you were doing it yesterday. That was great. You know, I think people like that. And then we'll go through the others. Maybe the Betty Page. But I'd have to look at the reference when I draw Betty Page. But I don't know. You sent me a bunch. Anyone in particular you'd like me to to do? Uh, I, I don't even remember what I sent you, to be honest. I usually just try to <laughs> get right. a whole stack of them. I figured, you know, you pick out a couple of them and then, uh, you know, I mean, obviously whatever you do is great. And then any of the others, if you can use them to help out other stores that may not have sent them to you or, uh, you know, that you work with or in your area or whatever, that's fine. That's what we've been trying to do that with a couple other artists in the area too. Uh, a couple of local guys we worked with, um, uh, Mike Hawthorne, who works for uh, De doing Deadpool for uh, Marvel and yeah, stuff and for us. So. We definitely appreciate it. Well, um, what's wh when? When are these going to go on sale? And should I not send them out until after you do the auction and send you photos and all? Or do you want to do the auctions live? Um, we've actually uh, we, we were doing we've been doing Facebook live sales like twice a week. We actually were doing one tonight, and okay. then we're doing uh, starting at six, and we're doing another one coming up on Friday. Um, with the artwork, it's been a little hit or miss with the with that, so we're actually changing it over now, and we're using links off of our store's Facebook page and just doing a reply sale. Okay. For like a 48 hour period, uh, you know, 48 hour or, or so. That way we can put it up. If people are interested in it, they can go ahead and uh, just, you know, you know, put bids in that way on a reply auction. It seems to work a little bit better that way, we think with the artwork it's for stuff. Because with, okay. with, the, with the sales, you know, if somebody's on it in a two or three hour you know, window, making sure we get the right person in there and stuff like that, this way we get a little bit more exposure for it. Yeah. So what I can do is, if you'd like, um, I'll make a nice scan of them. 
Yeah, that'd be perfect. Right? I'll make a nice scan. I'll send you that first. And if I can do one every day, I can do one today, one tomorrow, one Thursday, and then one Friday. So you'll have five of them so I don't have to rush it out for your auction. Yeah, no, that'd be awesome. Yeah, like, like I said, okay. we'll, we'll just be putting it up as a reply type thing. Um, well, it'll probably be – I'm guessing on here we're going to probably – you know, depending on uh, if you do that, we might just go ahead and try and put it up uh, – in the next day or so, we figured this Saturday, with since it was supposed to be free comic book day, yeah, it seems like everybody's trying to run Facebook Live sales on Saturday. So we sort of opted to do a, a, a graphic novel sale on Friday instead because I've got a feeling Facebook is going to be inundated with yeah. so many people trying to do live streams for sure. They'll probably miss you. Yeah. Well, you let me know what you want to do. Yeah, if you want to send this, if you want to do some scans, that'd be a perfect way to do it. I'll do the scans and then I'll mail them out. But if I do this, I can do, you know, I can do some more for you. You know I mean, at least two more, you know, maybe three more if I can. I'm just trying to, I'm going between this and Return of the Warrior. And then, you know, so I'm just trying to get that done. And and um, then working with Dynamite, we're going to launch a new book um, in May, May 20, uh, May 27th. So I'm kind of. You know, well, you know how it goes, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, yeah. you've got plenty of other things going on, so I, I appreciate you taking the time for this. I mean, it's a huge oh, help. My pleasure. It's my my pleasure, my privilege to do it for you. So yeah, you yeah. want to tell everybody where the store is? Have you got people out there? And Yep. Um, yeah, one of uh, my right-hand man, Andrew uh, Melius, is on here on the feed now. I can see uh, he's been, you know, he's, he's been huge with everything in the store and all, too. Uh, we're in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. It's basically South Central PA, about... 20 miles or so from the Maryland border. We're, we're actually about half hour outside Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. That's what a lot of people know. Uh, you know, you know, if you want to look for a reference point, um, I've had the store now, uh, going on about almost 19 years now. I took it over. It was a secondary location. Um, and I took it over back in 2000, uh, late 2001. And I've been doing it ever since. This is, this is what I do. It's like, I don't have a secondary job and do it part time. I mean, the shop is what I do full time. Yeah, this is your living. It is your yeah. livelihood. So, it's uh, is that the one near that? That's the one I went to then, right? That's the one near the uh, the uh, Olive Garden. <laughs> when, <laughs> when, yeah, when you were out last time uh, to the store, uh, that's actually we were uh, we are still in the mall. We are no longer right. there. Uh, we moved out almost two years ago now. We're actually in a strip center out on Route Thirty, which goes straight into Gettysburg. But uh, we're in a strip center that's actually right between Lowe's and Walmart here in town. So it's actually a much better location for us. And the conventions, uh, is the convention canceled? We had we had the one that we ran in Hagerstown, of course. That was right at the end of March. That one got canceled. Uh, the Harrisburg one, yeah, we the Harrisburg still, one, we're still holding off on that one. Um, okay. It's, it's, you know, most of it's going to depend on, you know, over the next couple of months. That's in the, you know, since that's late September, we're keeping our fingers crossed that there's a chance that that might be opening up. Um, we know a lot of convention centers and things are having problems because they've been, you know, convert, like Javits Center has been converted, you know, for, you know, for you know, more like hospital type stuff on there. Yeah. Since the Harrisburg show is in a shopping mall, that could depend on if the mall itself is open. We may be able to still do the event there that way and everything, too. Um, what Billy's referring to is the uh, Harrisburg uh, Comic and Pop Con. I just have I, I just happen to actually be wearing the shirt. <laughs> oh, there <laughs> so, <you go. laughs> there's, there's a good shameless plug for it. But uh, yeah, the Harrisburg Comic and Pop Con uh, we do in uh, it's coming up at the end of September. Uh, with any kind of luck, hopefully we'll still have it on uh, for this year. Excellent. Well, uh, who's it? Uh, oh, there's, there's Nelson. What's up, Nelson? Good to see you, buddy. For some reason, on my restreaming here, um, my Facebook messages isn't coming on through the Streamyard. But who'd you say was out there? Um, if somebody could post the link, I'll pop it up to to the store. Uh, do you have a face? Do you have a uh, YouTube? I'm mean, sorry. Do you have a um, website? Uh, yeah, on? we have a, like the, the website's kind of more generic informational, but it's uh, just www.comicsworldonline.com. Okay. Um, hopefully, Andrew might be able to do it. Yeah, I was having yeah, problems with the myself. I, I, it up. I, even to see messages right now, I literally actually have my phone opened up on mute so I can see the messages on the stream right now because I guess the way this is coming up, I'm not seeing it otherwise. Right. Right. Well, this is fun. yeah, no, that would be great. We'll definitely come over and uh, get you some links on that. Awesome, and I thank you coming by. You come by, uh, uh, John. Another thing that John does, he comes by every show. He's like, you need any blanks? I got some blanks. You want some blanks? <laughs> <Give me> blank. 
Thank you for that. Yeah. I appreciate that. We, we always yeah. order we order tons of blanks in the store. We have a lot of local artists that we work with and try and support. And then since we started doing these convent, you know, the, the conventions, uh, you know, you know the, the smaller, you know, or you know, smaller mid-sized shows that we've been putting on ourselves, we try and come over and stock up on every time they put out sketch covers. I mean, right now uh, at the store, I mean, granted, we've taken some out and uh, send it out to different guys, but, you know, we probably had 10 short boxes of blank covers for Marvel, oh, wow. DC, Indie. So we've got a fair amount. Well, if I lived out there near you, near you I would have <laughs> been able to do a lot more for you and get them out to you. But no, no, hey, I, I appreciate everything. It's definitely it, it's great on there. I mean, you know, we appreciate it on there a lot. You know, so many, we've had a great outpouring from our customer base and other people and all too helping support us with the Facebook Live sales that we've been doing uh, twice weekly and stuff like that. Um, and it's been great. And you know, you guys, I mean, you know, you've got plenty going on too. Uh, I mean, you know, it's a, it, we, you know. Everybody said this before, but it's affecting everybody. Yeah. But you know, we all greatly appreciate it, and you know, it's, it's a huge help for the shops. Um, I'm hearing word that it looks like Diamond might start be shipping some stuff out uh, May 20th. Apparently, it's supposed to be, looks like the date last I just heard. Oh wow! Really? For books pop starting to ship out now. All short stores may not be open. We may not be able to be fully open at that point. Right. But even like now, what we've been doing is just grabbing stuff from the store, bringing it to my house. And that's how we've been basically been running the sales live from the house uh, from that. And then basically if people are looking for anything or need anything, we'll, you know, we'll run back in the store, do a quick look around for people and uh, do it that way. And it's been good. Uh, actually, Andrew just posted a link to our uh, Facebook page onto the feed here too. I just saw. He did on Facebook. Let's see if I can copy it on. There it is. I see it. Let me see if I can grab that copy, copy link. Okay. Let's see if I can throw that here. Peace. I can definitely tell I haven't trimmed up my beard in a little while. I'm getting a little fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, like your hair's going up, oh, mine's flopping down. <laughs> that's the link right there, everybody. So if you guys click on that, that's for John's store. Uh, their uh, their online thing on on the Facebook. And John, you notice I say the Facebook. <laughs> the on the the Facebook on the internet. Yes, on the internet. Yes. And on the Twitter. <laughs> so, all right. So we do the thing. And, and he's, you know, I'm going to play with him a little bit more. Um, and then we're going to we're gonna hit, we'll, we'll pick another cover together. Again, I could do the Betty Page. I don't know, will that sell for you? Like, what do you, th we'll go through it and you tell me which one you think will sell. And that's okay. what we'll work, we'll grab. I and mean, I, obviously, I'll, I'll the female that. covers are always, yeah, the female covers are always great. But um, yeah. I don't, like you said, the Betty, Betty Page, I'm not sure how much of a, a yeah. following I have on that right now. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, same thing with me. As I, I don't know if it's going to be like, oh, yeah, I want that new Betty Page cover, which is cool. But we need to stick with the mainstream stuff because the whole point of it is to do better for you guys. You know, yeah. it's, it's to, to bring people in and get make people aware and have them support it and, and get something, you know, get a one-of-a-kind comic can cover. So to my friends out there on Facebook, I got a lot of friends, family on Facebook that aren't into comics. And what these things are, what I'm doing right here is you get a blank cover. It's a blank comic book cover, and then you draw on it, or an artist draws on it. If I could raise that up a little bit. Let me, let me raise this up. So we then draw on it and make it a one-of-a-kind custom comic book cover. So here you have the thing. And I was one of the first ever to do it. It was the first, though, I have to concede to Scott Campbell was with Gen 13, number 13. They did it. And okay. they first came out in 97, was it? I think 97. And then I did, I did, uh, ours came out in late 97. But I thought I was the first one to do it, but they had beat me, beaten me to it. So I have to give Jim Lee credit where credit is due. But we did the She um, Art of War tour book, which came out in late 97. And that was the first one that we had done. And I remember Mark Sylvester was like, this is a great idea. But I was doing, I was selling them for $5 each and doing a free drawing on each one. And it was just nuts. I had the lines and I would just do hundreds of them. And I'm like, what am I crazy for five? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I was actually going through uh, for a, a project. We'll go through and take old books and things like that and actually make like little custom buttons and stuff in the store. So I had an old wizard magazine that I was going through and uh, that I was you know, cutting out sections to do the buttons. And I ran across the article in Wizard 
talking about you doing the sketch covers, and it was actually oh. giving you credit as the coming up with the first idea for it. Oh, well, oh so oh, good. <laughs> well, then I'm gonna tell when I see Scott, I'm gonna tell him that. Well, it's in Wizard Magazine, so it's got to be true. <laughs> you know, on our show, Crowdfunding Comics, um, I would really like to, uh, and we're, 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 we got some big news coming out next week for Crowdfunding Comics, huge news. Um, but I would like to uh, revisit old Wizard magazines, you know, and just and go through the book. You know what I mean? Just flip through the book and you got them digitally and just scroll through it and see all the news, what was the news. And, you know, this is going to be a movie and, you know, the Youngblood movie and all kinds of fun stuff like that and see actually what transpired. And their casting, I, their casting ideas were already really, always really funny and interesting going through, seeing who, you know, they were saying would be great to cast in a film. And then yeah. Yeah, years later, a movie actually came out. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so it could be a lot of fun. So let's get this little. Uh, he's got to have a cigar. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. The thing has got to have a cigar. Okay. What's that? That looks awesome, man. I love it. It's going to be a fun one. The, yeah, he's fun. He's. It's a lot, you know. He's not easy. I mean, he's not hard to draw. It's just a lot of work. There we go. Is that a warm? I need a warm gray. Going through my markers here. Figure me, I'm not prepared. But this is how I am every day. <laughs> but if I was prepared, I probably would have been not chosen to be a cartoonist as my career choice, right? So let's see how that would be rough on the outside. I'll give it a nice. Some cool pop art, you know the 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 that eighties, I mean sixties pop art. You remember, like they would always Jack Kirby would always draw those little dots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's certain artists who definitely have just certain things that they do that are so distinctive that they just stand out. Yeah. And sometimes it's it's even hard to put your finger on it, but sometimes you can just see some basic line work, and it's just so obvious who it is. Yeah. Give him an outline. Let's give him a little bit of shading here. And he'll be done in a in a minute or so. What you doing today, John? Uh, I had a I had a customer thinning out some of his comics, so he dropped off uh, fifteen short boxes of books yesterday. At my so you're house, buying comics. <laughs> so I'm going through trying to you know sort through the stuff on there to see what uh, you know what, what's all in there. Um, we're doing a sale. Uh, we're doing actually a Facebook Live sale tonight, just strictly doing comic sets. Um, doing that at six o'clock, so in just over an hour. Nice. I'm just waiting for Andrew to get off work and swing by here and uh, ordered in some pizzas and stuff. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'll order a pizza today. Let's see if if the wife is cooking. Yeah, my wife's actually over visiting her mom right now. Uh, she, she's in the next town over, so she was just going to check on her, make sure everything's going good, and, you know, since she's kind of, you know, cooped up and stuff like that, so just making sure she, uh, you know, she's she's in one of the higher risk groups and stuff like that. Cause oh, really? Oh, yeah. She's, she's in her mid-60s, and she's a cancer survivor, so because of all of that, she definitely falls into a higher risk, so yep. she really hasn't been out much, so she figured she'd go over and, you know, just spend a little bit of time with her. I need a warm 10. That's what I need is a warm 10. Uh, come on. The thing is, I got hundreds of markers all over the house, all over my studio here. This is cold. And you can never find the one you need when you're looking never. for it. Before. Never. <laughs> Absolutely never. Never, ever, ever. Oh, this, will, this should be good. So there we go. I think uh, he's kind of done. If this is okay with you. Oh yeah, no, man. It looks great. If you look, please, you know, help our retailers. I'm gonna get back, finish this one up. I'll scan them in. I'll do a nice color scan of it, John. Okay, yeah, that'd be perfect. And um, uh, let me see if I could raise it up. So, if anybody wants to, is into this, my first thing that I've drawn literally since 1998. And any chance I get to draw him, I get, and I never get a chance to draw him. Okay. And I love this character. Oh yeah, it's very cool. Uh, Andrew actually sh just shot a thing on here that's actually not a bad idea. He was saying about maybe uh, figuring out, you know, f see which covers you have there that we sent, but maybe doing a firefighter paramedic type tribute type cover, maybe. You think that would help? You think somebody would like that? I can do that. Maybe even a cute pinup or something of a. Yeah, yeah, that that would definitely work on there. Yeah, I could do that. I can grab one of the covers and 
Well, let's we'll go through the covers. Let me just finish this, and we'll. I got to sign it, right? I guess I should sign it. <laughs> yeah, a Andrew's an EMS himself, so that's you know. Well, you thank know, you, Andrew. That kind of stuff makes, it, makes a difference. What time is it? It's almost five o'clock. All right. So there's the thing. I'm gonna zoom. Let me zoom out. There you go. It's it, it's off. The angle's off. He's more like that. Let me zoom. Let me bring this up. Here. No, it look, look, it looks sweet. <laughs> Let me do. Really nice. There you go. So there he is. There's the thing. I'll sign it. Let me add a little something for a cigar here. Maybe that will work. Yeah, this will work. I could add some black dots. I'm gonna add some black dots to the to the background too. So we get a black. I got black here. You guys can see that. Yeah, I think I think this one's gonna do really well. I hope so. I mean, the Wonder Woman's great too, but like I don't know, something about this one just really stands out too. It's got a lot of character. He's a, he's a great character. Not that Wonder Woman isn't. But there you go. How's that? I'll sign. Oh, it. awesome. And then let's go and let's go through the books. We'll pick another one. So I'm gonna do my little Tucci here. And I'll scan it in, John, and I'll send it to you. Do you need it today, or can I do it tomorrow? Uh, yeah, tomorrow's fine. That's there you go. So there's my R. Whatever works for you. That's, I mean, that's awesome. Very cool. Reaching out to you, gonna get you. It's gonna get you. <laughs> All right, so let's do that. Let's. I got. Hang on. This is what I always end up doing. I see something, and it, I'm like, ah, oh, I need a little bit. Third, there you go. All right, there, mm -hmm. let me give his mouth a little more definition. All righty then. So there's the thing. Tally ho. How oh, I straighten it out. And again, he looks better than this. He's really more like that. So it's the the proportions are much better when you look at it regular. So all right. So there's your thing. Let's put Wonder Woman here. Let's do the thing. All right, now let's take a look. Again, the baby Betty Page, we have her. I just don't know how, you know, I don't know if people are going to be really into that. We got Hawkeye, which is kind of cool. Doctor Strange. Deadpool, it's obvious I can, you know, <laughs> Deadpool probably would do well, or or Wolverine. What's What's No Justice? Uh, it was, I mean, it was a Justice League miniseries that they did. So, I mean, technically, you could probably throw almost any Justice League character on there. Okay. All right. Uh, That's a, the Dreaming. How do you think the Sandman books would do? Hmm. I think the Sandman books. And they're very, you know, very artsy and... and, and yeah, yeah. I mean, it, you could do... I can imagine you could do a really, really cool-looking piece. Um, I, I think this is the one we should go with. We'll do something here. Go with the Superman? I think so. Superman with an EMT or something like that. I think that's what we're going to go with. That 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 works perfectly for me. That'd be great. All right. Were you the first one to do that? What? Yes, I was the first one to do the to do the the sketch covers. I don't care what Scott <laughs> Scott Campbell says or Jim Lee. No, I think technically they were the first, but I didn't. Re I think we both had the same idea around the same time, and um, you know, theirs came out before mine, though. So, but you know, if, if if Jim Lee did something before you and Scott Campbell, that's not too bad a company to be in, is it? <laughs> so, all right, John. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank out you, there, man. Thank you guys, um, again, here's uh, what is this? Is this my there? There's John's Facebook. He's got a lot of people doing art. He's got a lot of books. He's got sketch covers, a lot of inventory, and they're really great at getting back to them. There it is, Comics <laughs> World, Chambers, <laughs> Petersburg. Chambersburg with an H or no? 
Yes. Yeah. All right. Chambersburg with an H. All right, guys. You all have a great day. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to get back to work. And, Thank you, man. Uh, thanks a lot. See you guys tomorrow. We'll come back on tomorrow, maybe around the same time, uh, 3 o'clock, and we'll do another cover. So uh, right. thanks, guys. John, thank Take you. Buddy. Good luck with it. Bye. Bye.